This week, we've been profiling the POW program, a San Diego-based program that is helping combat veterans through a unique combination of mixed martial arts and peer support. As part of our special suicide prevention coverage this month, Tech Sergeant Nathan Perry has more on the brotherhood and camaraderie that keeps POW members coming back. One, two, three, brotherhood! This is how every POW class ends, with the group coming together as one after a grueling hour All right, time. of pummeling each All right, other. Get your breath. That was a good round. It's like, so you have an older brother. He's gonna put you in a headlock. He's gonna give you noogies, he's gonna punch you, he's gonna do all that stuff. But you know he loves you and you trust him. So just start jogging in place. PAL stands for Pugilistic Offensive Warrior Tactics. Get the hips moving forward. Combat veteran Todd Vance founded the program to help his fellow vets adjust to civilian life. Spread out wherever you're at. Through a combination of yoga. Exhale, grab your toes. Keep working, who's gonna get the takedown? Suck him out, Johnny. MMA. Nice. And group therapy. Something called us to be United States Marines, do something harder than most of our buddies back home or anybody that we know could ever possibly hope to do. We don't have that anymore that we're not in the Marine Corps. You know, we don't have that place where we can go and know that I'm gonna have a bunch of people that I can trust and that I can come with with almost anything and they're gonna understand. That, that peer network is the battle buddies that they missed. You know, like when you get off of work, you have final formation, you go back to the barracks, drink a beer with your buddies or go to dinner, whatever, uh, and you get out and you don't have any of that. You know, you can't stand the people you work with, you are five years older than everybody at school, you don't fit in walking down the street, so who do you talk to? The POW program. <laughs> So they end up clicking up into little groups of three or four uh, friends, and they'll go out to dinner, and they'll, they'll a lot of times they'll get hook each other up with jobs, so they'll end up working together. And it's, I, I really feel like it's creating a subculture of military veterans uh, with a positive mindset. Grayson Wilson tried therapy after deployment. Where's your left at? But says the physical outlet, uh -huh. the peer support he gets from PAL have made all the difference. And it's just been, it's been a very positive outlet for my physical fitness. Um, and to get back into a group of fellas, several of the uh, veterans here are combat veterans like myself. Head back. It's been good to be around guys who are have similar experiences to me. Really st push that hip out to the right there. Mostly the brotherhood, honest. Like, it, it's not just going to the gym, it's not just getting a workout or getting training in MMA, it's just the, the brotherhood of these guys. Like, being there for them, and then being there for me, that's what keeps me coming back. If you're thinking about trying to earn your jersey, what you need to see is like a steady, consistent training regimen and involvement in the ongoings of PAL outside of the cage as well. PAL members say the program has helped them battle feelings of isolation and provided the brotherhood and camaraderie they've been missing from their time in the military. The other coaches and I decided that Cortez should come on up here. <laughs> He's been a great addition to the program. We're glad to have him. And, uh, you know, the PAL program is a way of life. It's helped a lot of people, um, myself included, and he's really embracing that. I see him putting in the work. So, uh, Cortez, congratulations, brother. I mean, I love getting fit and stuff like that, but, like, this is so much more than, you know, a gem to me. Okay, go. Go from over-under now. Over-under. This is, uh... This is a community that I love to be a part of. Let's go, finish strong. For more information on the POW program, go to their website, powsd.org.